created the sports personality of last year by fans all around the country. And I think if early reaction to him was lukewarm, now I think this country is very proud of what Lennox Lewis has done. I'm well, I'm sure they are. He's done a, you know, it's been a great career. He's brought five pride to the country, tremendous sports performance and bringing the, the title back here. And you know, he's won the heart of the people now. Yeah, we waited a hundred years for the likes of a Lennox Lewis to come along and we may have to wait another hundred years after he's retired for another heavyweight champion who rules the world as Lewis does at the moment. I've never seen him do that before, milk the crowd. Never, he's normally all business, but I think he'll enjoy this. He's finally home, he's finally back, you know, and the crowd are loving him. The only possible danger, apart from the fast hands and counter-punching of Bota, who's very respectable, is that Lennox is in some way complacent and looking past this fight to a possible meeting with Tyson. But really, I don't think that's going to be a problem. He's too much the pro, isn't he? Yes, he is. He paid for the price for that once before. I don't think he'd make that mistake again. Lewis, three years older at 34, three inches taller, reach advantage, and a big weight advantage of just about a stone over Bota. Lewis has been a professional for 11 years. His debut was against Al Malcolm back in June of 89. Bota's been a professional now for 10 years. Bota's actually had more fights and boxed more rounds, but Lewis has been mixing in top class and has a great knockout percentage, 77. Look what the bookies say, 14 to 1 on. Lennox Lewis, Bota, 6 to 1 against. That's not exactly generous, is it? And the draw, 50 to 1. In fact, uh, if you want to bet on Franz Bota and you want to pick a round, the bookmakers I'm told will give you 100 to 1 for him to win in any round you care to name. But there have been sensations before, right through heavyweight history, you can take absolutely nothing for granted. Ladies and gentlemen, from London Arena, Panics Promotions and Main Events, in association with Sky TV and HBO, along with the Evening Standard, present 12 rounds of boxing for the universally recognized, legitimate, undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. George Brooks of Jamorca, Secretary Simon Block, Internationally sanctioned by the WBC, the IBF, and the IBO, timekeeper will be Nick White. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring the belt on a 10-point must system are Al Bennett of the United States, Roy Francis from England, and Chuck Williams from the United States. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action from England, Larry O'Connell. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from one of the great cities in the world, London, England, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 16 stone, 12 pounds, 14 ounces, or 236 pounds. He brings a professional record of 44 bouts, 40 victories, including 24 knockouts to his credit, with two losses, one draw, and one no contest. Originally from South Africa, but now living and fighting out of Newport Beach, California, USA, here is the challenger, former IBF, Heavyweight champion, the White Buffalo, Francois Bota. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white, trimmed with blue, he weighed in at 17 stone, 12 and one half pounds, or an even 250 pounds. 
He captured Olympic gold in 1988 and now has a professional record consisting of 38 bouts. 36 victories, including 28 knockouts, with only one defeat and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, from East London, England, presenting the reigning and defending, universally recognized, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, the power and the power of London, Been through the rules. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Good luck to both of you. God bless you both. May the best man win. Larry O'Connell, very respected referee, though described as a lousy judge in an interview by Lennox Lewis this week, who still hasn't forgiven him for scoring the first fight with Holyfield as a draw. Mr. O'Connell will not be scoring tonight. But it's a prestigious appointment for him here. Bota was waltzing with Frank Warren, his promoter, in the ring while he waited for Lewis. He's not remotely intimidated, but can he cope with the size, strength, power and class of Lewis here? 12 rounds for the world heavyweight title as recognised by every sane person on the planet. Lewis in white trunks. so good at dominating from the outside but he'll have to watch the fast hands and counter punching of Bota. Bota's big problem is how does he get close enough to land a shot and another problem he's got what's he gonna do when he feels the power and the strength of Lennox Lewis a massive heavyweight Lennox with terrific strength inside and a, a tremendous punch that fast right hand of Botas, he didn't connect with it that time. Says he's in his best ever shape, though his weight suggests he's a little on the heavy side for him at nearly 16 stone 13. Same could be said for Lewis too, second heaviest of his career tonight. Big chance for Lewis, ringing around. A very atmospheric London arena. Well, Lewis has come out looking pretty relaxed, just pushing out that jab. Hands falling them pretty low, but looking for that right hand. Lewis has got good respect for Bota. He was telling me earlier this week, I hope the fans understand that this fellow's not a mug, he's got a respectable record. In fact, Lewis says he's better than Michael Grant, who was his last victim. There's that trademark shot of Lewis, that clubbing right hand. There's a right hand, and Bota's knees were bent by that. He nearly went over from it. He's felt the power now, and there was definitely a shattering effect. Well, the knees dipped, he'll have been dazed from that punch. A sharp right hand from Lewis. Is Lewis on the verge of another demolition job? He's already reddened around the left eye, Bota. Just systematically being worked over at range by the jab, and then big right hands being brought into play by Lewis. And Bota can't get in it at the moment. problems of fighting Lennox Lewis is he can outbox you or outblast you. Well he does everything so well, so well scored, such a good puncher, good with a jab, and so big, so hard to beat. Huge round for Lewis, for starters. And he looked like a 14 to 1 on favourite there, didn't he? He really did, he really looked like the, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, sure, total concentration. You're nice and relaxed, throwing out that jab and looking for the big punch. There it is, that right hand. 
buckle the knees right down. Look, he'd stay on his feet there, both are from that punch. He's got a future as a limbo dancer, managing to stay up from that. Well, he did well. He obviously still had a bit of strength in the legs, but it was a, a good shot. Look at that, just a, a side leg right hand through the guard. It was miraculous balance for a big man not to go down. Well, it was good. It was good. It's obviously, you know, he's trained hard, he's in good shape, and that the strength in the legs kept him up. Second round. Terrific noise on Lennox Lewis's homecoming night. Of course, the last time he appeared in London, he was beaten. The only time in his career against Oliver McCall. Stopped in the second round. Now, what can Bota do here? It's one thing him out jabbing Mike Tyson for four rounds and making him look silly, but Tyson's 5'11", Lewis is 6 feet 5 and two stone heavier. That's it, you've got to have quick hands and quick, quick feet, you've got to get inside those arms, land the punches and then get away in time. Bota tries to do something with the right hand. Lewis not rushing anything, taking his time, just pacing his man down, looking to get him on the end of that jab. He's so good at playing the percentages, Lewis, at not giving his opponent a chance he doesn't have. Sometimes that has been interpreted as over caution. <laughs> well, we've seen him go in and just blast his man out. He's taking his time. We're both there. He's looking to soften him up behind that jab, pick the right sort of punches. Just wary of the counter shot, isn't he? Well, he said, you know, he realized both the hard fast hands, and he is a little bit wary about the speed of him coming back. Bota says he taught Oliver McCall the right hand shot, which beat Lewis and he will produce it himself, given the opportunity. There's another honey punch of Lewis, is that right uppercut. Bota may feel more of those, should he get in close. He's trying to just sucker Lewis in if he can, but I don't think Lennox is buying it at the moment. player's mind if Lennox Lewis isn't working there at the moment. What he's doing is working, it's a big right hand, and he's dumped Bota halfway out of the ring. Huge shot, Bota down, and in a bad way, with what? Under half a minute to go in round two. Walk towards me, says Larry O'Connell, who stops the fight. He stopped it, Lewis wins again in round two and hands out his own version of capital punishment. The home banker has come up. Oh, what a combination that was, what a right hand to finish it off. He just slumped through the ropes and the, the white buffalo was down. It really was a good combination. He looked superb, he looked just a class above the opposition. And he did it three rounds quicker than Mike Tyson managed to. Well, I think he'd do a lot of things quicker than Mike Tyson could do. I mean, he, he's stamming out, you know, what he means. He wants that fight, and it's that sort of performance which, you know, hopefully will entice Tyson into the ring. Lennox Lewis just confirming, really, what we all thought, that he is miles clear of just about every other heavyweight in the world at the moment. The problem's going to be keeping him motivated carry on doing the job. I wonder if Bota will protest about the stoppage. He might do, but you just could never, ever see him getting into that fight style-wise, could you? Well, I think the referee was perfect. The referee did the count, asked him to walk forward, and he, he wobbled all over the place. Here's the punches, the right hand, the left hook follows up. He still hasn't hit the, the floor, and then the final right hand did the job. Big cheer from the crowd. They're seeing those pitches. Bota was nearly knocked into the press benches over on the far side or with the spectators. Well, what a combination, three-punch combination. The right hand, which really hurt him. The left hook, 
which he didn't fall from that, lined him up for the, the following right hand. Look at that, perfect. Just got the punch on and Porter was out of there. And Larry O'Connell this time took a decision, I think, which Lennox Lewis fully approved of to stop the fight. Well, it was the right decision. He asked Porter to come forward, to walk towards him, and Porter wobbled. You know, he wasn't in a fit condition to go out towards Lennox, and you can't let somebody go out of Lennox when they're hurt. Well, he's looking devastating, isn't he, lately, Lewis? He's seeming to get even better. Well, we've waited a long time for a heavyweight like this, and uh, isn't it good when we go in there? He tried to come forward, he wobbled all over the place, he complains about it, but you can't let a man who's hurt go out and face somebody like Lennox Lewis. It's the quickest defeat that Bota has ever had in his career. Tyson beat him in five, Morris stopped him in 12, Lewis has done it in two, same as he did to Michael Grant last time. And you'd have to go along with the words of his trainer, Emmanuel Stewart. He looks untouchable at the moment. The next fight is due to be David Tua, a big left hooker, dangerous left hooker. But can he live with Lewis, who's made it a triumphant night here at the London Arena? The fans here have loved it. It was quick, but it was emphatic and spectacular too. Ladies and gentlemen, your official evening standard time. The end comes at 2 minutes 39 seconds of round number two. The winner by knockout victory and still the universally recognized, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the tower and power of London, Lennox We've waited a long time for that, haven't we? But it feels like it was worth the wait. Barry McGuigan. Well, that was a devastating performance. He had a point to prove tonight. He had to go, he wanted to go in there, he wanted to dismiss uh, Bota in a couple of rounds, not get a glove laid on him and knock him out emphatically, and he'd done that in style, and he'd done it quicker than Tyson, and he showed that he is the most dominant heavyweight in the universe. Jim Watt. Well, I thought tonight he showed the arrogance of the best heavyweight in the world. He went in there, did everything at his own pace, he was never hassled or upset, just kept both are on the end of his punches, and the finishing punches were as good as I've seen from Lennox Lewis. I expected him to stop both of them, I expected him to soften them up, I didn't expect him to blast them out of there. No one else has done that. First class performance. He's a bit too good looking for this game though, isn't he, Frank? Who, both this stage. No, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, at this yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah. I'm not that way inclined, so I won't really <laughs> answer that question. What about that performance? He's he done a good job, good number on him, you know, clean finish. We was um, just saying that he does everything um, chess, he doesn't take no gambles, but he done everything nice and paced and when he got, you know what I mean, got him in the right spot, he finished him off clean, sharp and very classy. Frank, he's got this array of title belts. Yeah. More than that, on the record, is there any doubt in your mind that he is head and shoulders the best heavyweight in the world active now? He is the best heavyweight in the world active now at the moment, but with him against Mike Tyson, I, I, you know what I mean, wouldn't put my house on it, to be quite honest, because okay. Tyson's a serious hombre. We'll come back to that. On the base of what you've seen yeah. tonight from Lennox Lewis, right. is he at his peak now? Most definitely. Heavyweight's developed very, very late. He's um, fought all the contenders around at the moment, you know what I mean? He's beaten he Hol Holyfield twice. There's Mike Tyson to come a big, big name. That's the only thing what's left out there at, at the moment, but I don't think Mike Tyson's ready. He said after his last fight he weren't ready, but Lennox Lewis, he looks very, very sharp, very cool, and he's done a, a really classy job, and a very, very difficult guy. He could have made it difficult. You've shared the ring with him. Right, definitely. And you were a British WBC World Heavyweight Champion. Don't get it out of the sweet shot, mate. Now, they take all the winning, and he's got a collection of them. Yeah, definitely. When you do it in your hometown, and yeah. you did it in, your, in, in the capital city Wicked. in London too, yeah. what does that feel like? The most sensational feeling that you can't even put it into words, you know what I mean? Because the, the British fans, you could never get a better crowd, better supporters all over the world. But he's a WBC undisputed, WB, IBF, WBA, so you can't mess you around can with that. You keep going and adding to the list if yeah, you like. Yeah, you know what I mean? You've got to give him credit where credit is due. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Wicked. Let's hear from Lennox. Lennox, another devastating performance. That one, you seem to be just getting better. 
Yeah, I felt good. I, I was really warmed in the dressing room. I was well prepared. Uh, I just wanted to come out here and just show that I'm a pugilist specialist and do what comes naturally. It seemed to me there that you didn't take a single punch in the two rounds. No, well, I'm not here to take punches. I'm here to give punches. You know, uh, I'm, into, I'm into the sweet science of the sport. How special was it for you to do it in that fashion in front of your home fans? It was very special, you know, coming back here and uh, showing the world how much I've improved and especially what kind of punches I can come out with was very special to me. And you did it three rounds quicker than Mike Tyson. We can have a look at it here now. Here comes the, the finish. You knocked him halfway out the ring. Yeah. You know, I, I just seen him right standing there and then he was getting back to his feet, so I hit him with the right hand. And, you know, nobody can really take my punishment when I'm really ready to dish it out. Bota seemed to protest about the stoppage, um, but it looked a good one from where we were sitting. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good stoppage because uh, when the referee said take a step to me, he was actually wobbling. Yes. Did you think it was going to be that quick? When I spoke to you earlier this week, you thought it might take some time. Yeah, but I, I realized that, you know, not many people can get away from my right hand, especially I was throwing out the jab and just uh, setting it up with my jab, and then finally my right hand ended it all. It was almost so quick that you must be tempted to want to come back to London and do something like this all over again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the, the crowd wants you back, Lennox. Absolutely. I'm going to try and come back for real. Believe me. So this might not have been your last fight in Britain then? I'm going to have to say it might not have been, for real. I might have to come back and do it again. I know the crowd wants more, so I have to give them more. Do you feel now that the British public, I mean, it was a bit lukewarm at the start, have really taken you to their hearts? Absolutely. Just by the turnout alone, we've got a packed house. It was great. I'm glad that we've got a packed house. Re respect. They have to remember, the tickets, the, tickets were, the tickets cost a lot of money. And then we're coming off of the Wimbledon. So, you know, to have this kind of support shows they really love me. David Tua is lined up as the next opponent in November. A dangerous left hooker. What are your views about that? David Tua has never seen a boxer like me. I realize he's got power, but he has nothing else. I'm, I've got a lot more on him. So, you know, I, I welcome that fight. If there's anybody that deserves a chance, it's David Tua. There was some suggestion this week that if you didn't get the Tyson fight, you might retire. What are you feeling about that right here now? No, I'm still happy to go on. I mean, there's still a lot out there for me to prove. And what's your message to Mike Tyson? Should he have been watching this somewhere in the world tonight? Tell Mike Tyson to either put up or shut up. Simple as that.